Alrighty, we finally actually working. That'll be nice. We got it up and going. Let's have a little test just Superb! It looks like we're actually on. What is going on, guys? Uh, I've had an absolute nightmare trying to get this to work tonight. It's been loads of fun. <laughs> loads of fun sorting stuff out. Uh, we are checking out some Rugby 20 tonight. I'm going to see if I can actually do anything to do with uh, the stream itself. Uh, hopefully everything will be going okay. You might hear me periodically <laughs> echoing because I'm going to be listening to myself talk in the background. Okay, it sounds okay. If everyone, uh, anything goes wrong in particular, feel free to drop it uh, in the comments. I'm just going to have my <laughs> my phone next to me, I guess, because for some reason, YouTube streaming service is actually doing terribly tonight. But of course, we're going to be doing some Rugby 22 prep. Uh, so this is going to be involving a bunch of Rugby 20. I thought we'd jump on and play some games. Of course, there's probably not a great deal of lifespan left in this game uh, with Rugby 22 coming out in January. So I thought it would be fun. To, uh, to jump on and play some different games of Rugby 20, maybe try some different, uh, well, maybe not difficulties, this game isn't exactly difficult, but play out some different games, play some different teams, play some different difficulty teams anyway, and uh, that way we can get into it. So what should we start off with for this evening? Let's start out, uh, ooh, what do we see? I tell you what, that what was a good game of the Autumn Internationals. Let's do France versus New Zealand, because uh, New Zealand now, of course, in Rugby 22. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun to actually play as them as the official team, not this sort of made-up All Blacks team that they just sort of have in there. Uh, but we will jump into this game and we will get this game kicked off and underway. Uh, so hopefully everything is going perfectly fine with the stream and everyone's going to be super happy. Uh, I can't manage a lot of levels of it, so <laughs> we'll just have to see how we get on. Um, if you want to jump down in the chat and what have you, feel free to jump in, in the chat. I'm just going to try and Keep an eye on it on the sideline to see uh, what people have to say and what's going on. He says, as he almost definitely just deletes his own live chat. There we go. <laughs> Look how long this game takes to load, actually. Normally I cut all this stuff out of my videos. When it's a live stream, much harder to do. Did I even have the question then? I think I didn't even pay attention to the question. I probably just tapped A through whatever it was. Right, we're down at Union Stadium. Let's see if France can reenact what we saw in the Autumn Internationals. We get a nice little up and under away here through the gap. Charles Olivon, get him through in the middle there. Haven't seen a lot of Olivon recently. Uh, not really been rocking the uh, the France team at all. Not that France are uh, complaining enormously. They've got a great depth in squad at the minute. And uh, they don't really mind, even though Charles Olivon was such a, a uh, an influential player and captain in that team. They certainly managing to cope well without him. Let's see if we can switch it right to Francois Cross going through the middle. Oh, he's already in for a try, nice and easily. Can't stop the man once he gets ahead of steam behind him. It was a decent first try. Now for the extra. I mean, we've done a couple of videos leading up to this talking about Rugby 22 and uh, just sort of the, the the thoughts and feelings of the game. And I must say. I'm actually wondering now, playing Rugby 20, whether the images here of Rugby uh, Rugby 20 actually look slightly better <laughs> than the Rugby 22 screenshots. It's going to be interesting to see what uh, what a lot of the people think as we go through. To Bouthier, who offloads it to Fiku, couldn't manage to get through the gap there. It was spread the line a little bit wide. I wonder if we can get this nice and wide here to Teddy Thomas out on the wing. He's going to see if he can make it all the way down. Let's get a little grubber kick through. He's definitely got some speed over the pretend New Zealand wing is. Oh, this could be a second try. Oh, what a tackle. Great stop there. Right. Let's try and set up a little bit here. New Zealand look very, very flat on that line. Oh, Valencia couldn't manage to smash his way through. Let's see if we can pass down the line. Charles Olivon. Oh, it'll go in for a maul. Mauls in this game, of course. Unstoppable. Uh, <laughs> as it was. That is going to be something in Rugby 22. I really hope we do see a fix for that. Um, the mauling system in this game was uh, slightly ridiculous how easy it is to just sort of walk over the line. Um, nice easy try. Right, let's see if I can actually get uh, YouTube to go with me. Right, looks like I can actually now see YouTube on the side as well, which means I can actually respond to some comments. I don't actually need to listen to my own <laughs> my own stream on the sideline. Uh, this is, of course, my second stream ever, guys. So... Uh, <laughs> this is also prep work, not just for uh, for Rugby 22, but also uh, for me to get a bit more used to doing some streaming, get used to uh, 
to getting into this game and playing some different stuff and actually getting into doing a bit of streaming. Get used to doing streaming commentary. It's very, very different to actually just sitting down and playing a game where I can edit out how terrible I am at a lot of games and see if you can get Fiku under that. Oh, it's a good pickup and an offload if you can get away. No, he can't get away there. Um, because when it gets around to Rugby 22 actually coming out, I am going to be looking forward to doing some actual streaming of that game on release and a little bit afterwards and going through and playing some uh, some custom games that people want to see. So I need to get into doing streaming a little, get a bit more, uh, get a bit more used to doing some commentary. Look at this little step. No, Rates not making it through goes out into the touchline. It's a pretty good first half though so far. Well, let's move closer in here. We'll try and get in the air. That's a quick line out. That was some speed. We've got the back covered. There's a big hole going to open up in the middle. Let's see if we can shut this down. I'm doing terrible at tackling. Oh, Teddy Tomah with you. Oh, couldn't get in there. Thought there was an intercept run all the way then. Oh, here we go. Francois across. Go on to Aldrit on the outside. We'll go for the big handoff. Whoosh, take a seat. As we move in, try and get some support with him now. We'll go along the side. Cerro by to Julien Marchand. Let's try and set up a mall behind him there. Everyone in. Let's keep going. Strong left defense. down to Vaca Tower. Over to LaRue and to Rattes. Can he make it down the left wing? Let's do a spin. No. <laughs> never attempt the spin. The spin never works in a game like this for some reason. Oh, he managed to throw me off with the dummy. Nice little interception there. Let's see if we can get on the outside. That's looking fine. I haven't actually spread my defence wider. New Zealand seem to be wanting to try and find the holes on this sort of second receiver here. We'll try and cut him off. Oh, we nearly did. Oh, it's a dangerous play. Oh, it's a horrible interception. <laughs> Back of tower straight over the line. That's what we like to see. What a finish. Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to see where they go with Rugby 22. I really hope they actually manage to improve this game. And, uh, and actually manage to have some really nice mechanical <laughs> changes to this game. Now, I think things the like that, the uh, the sort of, the little interceptions and stuff like that, they feel a little bit easy just to be able to do. I would like to see it be a little bit more fluid, maybe, just to be able to do that. And the kick will go just to make sure everything's all right on the stream again. Yeah. Let's just make sure this all okay. You probably hear me echoing in the background. Yep, it looks like we're all good. That's all I really care about. I just wanted to make sure the stream's actually up okay because I've been faffing about for the good, I don't know, half hour or something trying to get this to work tonight. So we're glad it's all up. That's a good tackle there. Let's see if we can get in on the outside. Oh, I mean, we've got so many numbers, we just can't get the turnover. Considering how many great jacklers France have, this game really, really struggles for France to turn over any sort of ball. Wow, New Zealand very clustered here. Oh, wow! Where did that gap open up through? What a superb final tackle there from Boutier. We'll take it back in. Let's try and hold it up a little bit here. Right, let's set up our kicker. For some reason, that's going to be Vaca Tower. Why not? That's one of the mechanics we will, of course, be hoping to see changed in Rugby 22. Will be the ability... Um, to actually have your fly half be the kicker rather than just some Gautier, random centre who's going to take over the kicking duty because you want someone uh, to drop back into the pocket. Oh, apparently that was a knock-on. Harsh call, ref. <laughs> Look at this. 36-minute substitution. What are we, playing the South African team, changing their forward so early on? Oh, I just completely missed that. I was looking away. <laughs> See, this is why you play streams like this, guys, where you get in some... Uh, you want to get in some prep work, because of course when Rugby 22 comes out, I'm not sure if they'll change the controls overly much. Look at the gap on this side. There was potential there for a try to be conceded. We managed to defend that well. Let's just guard that right inside. Um, but I don't know if they'll change a lot of the controls to do with the um, with Rugby 22 compared to Rugby 20. I can't imagine they would change a lot of the, the actual buttons and what they do. Oh, that's not a great pass. Um, but there's every chance they will do, but of course... If you haven't going to play this for a good month or so until you actually get to play this game, then uh, oh, that's a good tackle. Then you actually might uh, might struggle just to get used to the new controls and whatnot. So it's useful playing games like this just to uh, just to keep on top of it. So I don't look stupid when <laughs> Rugby 22 finally comes out. Oh, Teddy Tom has some great footwork there. I actually might go for a little crossfield kick here. Cyril by the natural kicker for some reason is the is the man who receives that ball. We can spread this wide. Julian Marchand out to Vaca Tower gets it off to Larue who couldn't get it away to Rattes on the final rip there. You know what? I'm happy with that. We'll take a 21 half. Let's kick that off the park. 
Let's go into half time. The end of the first... first half, 21 nil. Not terrible. We've actually got someone down in uh, in yellow markers here. Paul Valemsa. What's he doing? <laughs> that, that Paul Valemsa plays a solid 80 minutes in almost every game I ever see him in. <laughs> in this game, he lasts barely till half time. Very very harsh, to be fair. All righty, let's. Uh, the line out general opting let's go long over everyone no one ready for it Fiku can't get it through to to Ollie Vaughan oh it's a nice little offload over the top we can oh he completely ran through Teddy Tomahawk oh, didn't take the tackle on we will have an overlap on the right hand side Vaka Tower to Teddy Tomahawk can he run around the outside he manages to find some room oh it's a high tackle what is he doing outrageous <laughs> He can't friend. be that doing that. Could cost the team he let himself get carried away. Let me just change that Yellow on the stream. The there we go. Days. Right. Uh, what should we do? Let's go for a penalty kick. Let's just move ourselves. Oh, we've got the wind against us. That's not going to be great. Let's see what Entomac manages here. It's good distance. That's all right. That's fine. Puts us closer towards the uh, the 22. That's where we want to be. Right. We've got a yellow card to work with now. Let's go for a little dummy jump. Throw them off. Then throw to the back. Ball to Dupont. Can he get it up quick? Teddy Tomao. We've got a little bit of a loop play here. Vaca Tower hits a great gap in the middle. Oh, couldn't get it away. And a, oh, not a knock on. We we'll dropped the ball. We've lost the uh, the possession. We're going to have to spread a little bit wider. Rata should be able to shut that down. We'll try and get some other players to try and hold him up here. Through we go in the middle. No. I mean, this will be where France want to be holding this game out. 21-0. Three tries to the good. Will they concede four tries in one half? Going to be difficult. Oh, that was a nice... Oh, I thought he had a bit of room there. We will slowly shut him down. They are beginning to make their way through until Rates gets taken down. We go outside to Cross to Olivon, who can't make it through. Dupont. Oh, good tackle there. Managing to shut down Dupont from a little run through. Fair play to them. Teddy Tomah just running away. Oh, we've got a winger. <laughs> good shut down there from Boutier. Managing to get in. Last man defence. Good turnover. Okay. Let's just set this up a little bit here. I'm tempted to go for the cross field. Let's see if we can get this in here. Where's Rates? Get her across the way. Couldn't get all the way across for it. A little bit too deep. Let's see if we can pick it up. <laughs> Mohamed Hwas, the natural sprinter that you want to have on the ball on the wing. As we go. Switching back to the right. Billy LaRue to cross. To Vakatau back inside. Oh, I thought there was going to be a gap open up in the middle there. Let's spin it round again. Vakatau hits the line. Nicely. Little grubber kick through on the outside. Won't be able to collect it back himself. That's a shame. Let's run it back down the far end. Good catch from Boutier. Let's see if he's got the boot like he does in real life. Oh, it's a good charge down. Under huge pressure. France managing to recover. Oh, this got real intense real quick. I really do like playing New Zealand in this game. Um, New Zealand's one of the few teams that actually gives you a little bit of a, of a real challenge as well. Especially when you play as a slightly lower rated team. And uh, I really enjoy seeing what they can do. Teddy Tomah with a good little footstep there. Can he kick it on for Entomac to chase down? Who turns around? <laughs> Mid sprint, that's not the way to go. Oh, it's a good cover tackle though. We will push them back towards the try line. Good tackle, managing to get someone in. Boutier having to jump in again is the last man defence. Playing well, keeping Jaminet out in this game, who I don't think is even in this game. <laughs> Let's see if they can... Oh, there was a late kick there. Let's see if we can get this through. Cyril Bai will take it to ground. We'll spread it as wide as we can, as quickly as we can to Rates. Making his way down the wing. No, he won't. He will get taken down. Close to the try line. Oh, this is good. Let's see if we can. Uh, I want to try and get another try in here before we uh, before we end this game. Let's see if we can get these men up in the air here. It's a big line out. Good steal by Valemsa. Dupont to Aldrit. Out to Fiku. Plays a little grubber kick round the back. Oh, couldn't get it to work. That's fine. We will pin them all the way back on their own try line. He's going to have to clear the ball. Good covering from Rates. Is there a gap in there somewhere? No, there isn't. I need someone to spread left. Oh, everyone's a little bit too wrong for me here. We'll just take it up the middle for one phase. Oh, Francois Cross with some superb footwork to try and get around there. Vaca Tower spreads it wide to Teddy Tama. Oh, couldn't be stopped. Can he get a little step? No, he can't. Gets taken down again. Uh, 
Hang on, let's see what uh, what, what set plays we got here. I forgot what all the buttons are for set plays. Let's do a little rugby league style. Here, let's, let's try and uh, move our way around the back here. Let's see, here we go. Out the back door. Oh, doesn't manage to get the final pass away. The set plays that they <laughs> speak so highly of in Rugby 20. Not working how they wanted to. Good final tackle. Oh, we don't want to let him through on that final wing. Good takedown. Oh, there's difficult to find any room here. Mohamed Haas will just slowly try and chip his way through. Let's move through a little bit here. Pass wide. Cyril by to Julien Marchand. To Entomac. To Valemsa. He ran out of stamina in the first half, but he will score a try in the second half. Nice to see. Nice to see him getting over there. Right. We managed to win 26. So, uh, you know, we'll take a conversion. We'll get a final conversion. We've got a 100% conversion. Why not keep it going for Entomac? He deserves to have... <laughs> a nice little one there. Roman Entomac with the final kick there. 28 0. That was a good. That was a good first game. I'm happy about that one. We managed to get a nice early win in. Uh, we got some more SP points. There's me on my stupid level 159 in this game. I have no idea what the <laughs> world number one for that position is. How do I ever find that out? I quite enjoy that. <laughs> I wonder if I am. I wonder if I'm up there. I wonder what the highest level anyone's ever achieved in this game is. I can't believe uh, that many people have uh, have, have taken the, up to like 159. I think Rugby Guru used to do a lot of um, a lot of Rugby 20 back in the day. Maybe he's got uh, a high level as well. Uh, right, what do we want to move on to? What would be a fun match to move on to? I am enjoying a bit of the internationals. What else should we do? We want to uh, we want to mix it up a bit. We want to make it a little bit harder. What do we fancy? Uh, I think Georgia. Georgia could be fun. Who should Georgia go against? Um, let's have a look. Who, who are we going to do Georgia? Uh, Georgia versus... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, England, Fiji, France, Georgia. I'm trying to think of a good game I've seen recently. I think Georgia played Ireland. Uh, we'll do Georgia Ireland. Let's uh, let's kick off this game and see, uh, see how Georgia can get on. I do like playing as Georgia because I quite like the Georgian team. Um, I'm, I'm slowly getting better with their names in real life, which I'm really enjoying. <laughs> I think Georgia are licensed for Rugby 22. Um, it has sort of come out now. They're, they're sort of internationals. They've um, they've made. Oh, sorry, James, I didn't see that. There you go. I've got. A, I haven't got my chat up. Sorry, James. I will do. All right, we'll do the next one. Next game after this, Munster versus New Zealand. Just for you, James. There you are. We'll we'll get that in there. <laughs> I'm so used to doing streams for no one. It's nice to have uh, lots of people coming in doing some common stuff. We'll do that as the uh, as the next game. Um, we yeah, Georgia are licensed. They've got it now. They've got Australia and New Zealand as well in their uh, in their international named, which is nice. I'm glad they've got them in. Um, but we have seen a drop in a lot of the international teams. Oh wow, there's three missed tackles there. Uh, we haven't seen Canada, which is a shame. Um, USA, Russia. Namibia, uh, there's certainly a couple. Oh, that's a nice little ball through the middle there. Let's see if we can uh, try and get this around the outside. I think this could be a bit of a tough game. I'm not sure if Georgia are necessarily the best at this game. Let's see if we can try and get some players through the middle. No Sharikadze there in the uh, in the 12 shirt. Mamukiashvili gets taken down again. Let's see if we can spread this wide. Gorgodze out to Mikotadze. Oh, we're going on the wing to the slowest winger in the game, probably. Oh, it's a great step. He actually nearly managed to make it through. Uh, is there anyone going to be there? No, we'll just play it one off. Nerya Yashvili trying to take it up the middle as well. Spreading it wide. There it could be room out here. Mamuk Yashvili again on the wing. Can he make it through the side centre? Oh, he might be able to stretch. Yes, he can. There's a nice early try in there as well. All righty, let's see here. How Abs and Zadze's uh, kicking is in this game. <laughs> He's actually a really good kicker in real life. Um, I think his kicking score isn't necessarily the highest in this game. He actually gets a good percentage of kicks. It's just a bit of a shame for him that uh, you never seem to find Georgia uh, going over the line too much in terms of, of tries against the Tier 1 nations. Let's see if we can uh, get some support here. Oh, this team is so close together. Oh, there's already a bit of an issue. Let's spread the defensive width a little bit because we're going to get under... Look at how many players I've got in a ball around this ruck. <laughs> Ireland slowing down the ball, spreading it a little bit wide. Bundyaki going out to Johnny Sexton who breaks through three tackles. I can't turn any of these balls over. Let's try and spread the uh, the scrum half a little bit wider. Oh, there could be an intercept. Oh, my goodness. Who was that? I think that was Gary Ringrose making a superb little break there. Oh, no, my defensive line trying to hold up. 
I don't know if I ran offside, then the ref hasn't seen it. We've managed to steal it. Can we get it out wide? I don't think they've got the numbers down the left-hand side. Can go Godze, the big man. Boosh. <laughs> I love watching the flankers run in this game. They've just got such little speed in comparison to everyone else. Let's do that. They shouldn't have a full-back in that area. We'll try and get a little box kick, put some pressure on. Oh, it's well fielded. I actually don't know who the who is the full-back. I don't think it is Keenan in this game. Um, it might still be like Rob Carney. I mean, the game is two years old. I should probably try and remember who was back in in the day. Uh, we'll do a seven-man line-out. Uh, let's do a little little dummy throw at the front. And then we'll go long, just a mess of Ireland. They weren't expecting that one. Ireland's so good now in the real world in terms of line-outs. Uh, we, we saw it a lot through, uh, well, in fact, both the Six Nations and the Autumn Internationals, really, their lineups have become absolutely superb with the inclusion of James Ryan, Ty Byrne, uh, Ian Henderson. They are just dominating in that lineout. Oh, that's a great ball through. Oh, and he does the step as well. Johnny Sexton carving us apart. Let's see if we can uh, refrain from conceding a try here. Oh, we actually did. What an awful pass. <laughs> My line. Right, let's let's drop everyone a little bit deeper. Everyone's a little bit too uh, too close together here. Oh, this isn't working at all. What's our other preset? I have no idea what the second preset for Georgia is. Let's try and uh, set them up a little bit here. Look at this. They weren't expecting to go down the blind side, and we'll see what Xvelzadze can get it down. No, he's not got the speed for that at all. Never going to beat. Uh, I think it's Stockdale on the left wing still for Ireland in this game. Uh, but that was always going to be difficult. Good take down there as well. Let's see if we can get an Ireland advantage. That feels very harsh, ref. Good takedown. I don't know why he just tried to take that into the tackle. Oh, I, I feel like I've... I don't know how Ireland have less numbers than me. I feel like I'm all over the place at the minute. I've got no one in that ruck. I've got no men. <laughs> Literally, there wasn't even a tackler by the end of it. How is that possible? Oh, God's a good little interception there. Takes it down. Let's spread it wide. Oh, there's just no one, not, no one on that wing at all. What is my... Uh... I'll switch it back to the preset. I, I've gone from having... Look how balls... I've got five men in a triangle formation. There is no formation of any use there to me. This is not how we're going to penetrate the island defence. Let's see if we can still spread it wide. Kacharava, we're just losing ground at this point. You know what? We'll go in. We'll go in 7-0. Let's go in 7-0 at half time. A much tighter game than the first one. <laughs> we could struggle in this second half, especially when fatigue and fitness begins to become a bit of an issue for this team. Lobzhenidze, can he take that it? Oh, just like again, the tackling from Ireland is very, very good. Let's see if we can do this, then flick it back inside to Gorgadze. Didn't manage to work. We've got to have numbers on the He's far side, but everyone's still to too ball. deep very to be able to get the handling. ball away. Gaps there could be room. Kacharava spreads it wide. It. Oh, he could have the legs. Little step, little step. Oh, he's still going. Georgia. Gets taken down. Let's try and get out wide. That's an enormous pass. That was absolutely not what I wanted to do. But can we get it away? Gorgadze, little offload. No, he can't manage to get it through. There could be room up the inside here. No, another good tackle. Okay. Struggling to make room. What have we got in terms of presets? Uh, let's do rugby league. <laughs> Only some of the things do work in rugby 20, which was a real shame. Um, a couple of the uh, the actual uh, set plays didn't quite work all the time, so you have to be a little bit careful with the ones you pick. Oh, he's a big man to get down. He manages to take it a few more yards on. I don't think there's a fullback on this far side. Giggy Ashvili can't manage to get it to the uh, to the open grass. However, Johnny Sexton or whoever was on that wing is absolutely going to find the room. Right, let's do a little inside step here. Matia Yashvili managing to buy himself a little bit of time. Oh, I'm so close together. This is not how I want my attacking setup to be. This is something we need to see in Rugby 22. An attacking Georgia. Oh, man, Yashvili goes down again. Can we spread it wide one more time? There might be room. A huge grubber kick on. Is he going to have the legs? We'll try and cut across. Manages to pick up the ball. Let's see if we can not have this loss. Okay, let's spread it wide now while we've got numbers. Can we still go wide? One more. Yes, and again, and again. Yes, come on. Let's see if we can make it down the wing. We're going to go for a little... Oh, that was a late tackle. I think that was going to be called a late tackle there. They'll get a good kick away. No fullback. Oh, no. All my big boys, get in there. <laughs> for some reason, all my forwards are going to cover the back row. Naria Yashvili with a lovely little sidestep. We'll try and spread this wide. Let's see if we can get another try. We've got 20 minutes to make it happen. 
Oh, we got a bit of room again here. We'll take... Oh, no, a good tackle again. Oh, we might have lost that on the far wing. And we've got a huge gap there. And he just ran into... <laughs> That's how you want to see. This is another thing we'll be looking to see fixed in Rugby 22 will be this glitch. Uh, I know a lot of people don't tend to play this game in the same view that I do. I play it side on in terms of camera work. Um... But a lot of people will actually play this game, um, the sort of, I don't know what you call it, third person perspective, I guess technically is what it is, but I, I, in my head I think of it more as first person where the camera rotates. But in that line out situation, sometimes you see all the buttons squished up together, not really sure why, that's a huge interception. That was a fantastic run, let's see if we can just shut down the wing, I'm going to stay wide. Oh my goodness, who was that? Ian Henderson, absolutely smashing his way through, I've got four players offside, we're definitely going to be conceding a penalty here. Let's see if they'll go for three or will they try and take it into the corner and go for the driving mall. Bundyaki goes off. They're going for the scram. Oh, Robbie Henshaw's on as well now. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can hold this together. Come on, Georgia. This is what you're famous for, being good in that forward pack. Let's get him in. We've got a good scrum to start off with. They go through. That's a horrible start for the scrum. We're going to lose the first one. We'll win the second one. They're going to play it wide. We've hopefully got the numbers to deal with it. Yes, we do. Well, shut down. Can we get the men in? Yes, we can as well. That's actually gone really well. We'll just clear our lines, keep it in play. We'll try and wear down Ireland a little bit more. That's a good cover tackle as well. Where they go in here? Oh, a little out the back pass. Johnny Sexton again. <laughs> Johnny Sexton. Every time Johnny Sexton has the ball, he makes about 15 yards in this game. There's another good tackle there. For some reason, they're trying to fight me up the middle. We're perfectly happy to uh, keep doing this. We are losing metres. But they're just going to keep going up the middle we actually sort of see this a little bit from Ireland now and then the little pick and goes they like to do just trying to work it through the middle we've just got to hold on for another four minutes oh there was almost a chance to turn over I absolutely believe he was offside but we're gonna spread it wide referee doesn't see that's the the luck probably Georgia need in this game we go wide Naria Yashvili takes it in again no catch a rather oh we've got to try and go for another try come on let's see if we can do it Let's try and get a little inside step. We're struggling on this inside wing. Look at all. I've got all 15 players on the screen right there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, everyone's now too deep for my own good. Let's, uh, where's my preset? No. <laughs> there we are. Full push forward. Everyone up. Here we go. Flat line going in. We're going full attack. Oh, Lomjanidze nearly managed to find room in there. We're going to play dangerous. Little inside pass. Call Gadze. Keep their forwards the engaged. Created. We'll take it in. Let's spread it wide again. No, we can't. Call Gadze. We'll take it in. Goes wide again to catch a rather. He's going to kick it through nice and deep. That might have been a terrible choice for me to do. They'll clear it back down. We'll move it in. This guy's offside. Referee. <laughs> Referee. Their fullback uh, started 50 yards ahead of the kicker. Oh, no. It's all going wrong. They've had the ball turned over. Oh, they're paying the ref at this point. This is outrageous. Come on. Everyone get in there. Can we hold it together? Get in there. No. No, no, no. Get on it. Good tackle. Needed to be made. Last man tackle. I think if we turn this over, it just needs to be kicked out. 7-0. We're happy with 7-0. Ireland slowing it down. We've just lost another two men in that tackle, which isn't needed. Cover the wings. Georgia are looking tired. <laughs> I don't think I've got a single player left with any stamina. Out they spread it wide and again. Oh, it's a wild ball. Keith Hill's got a lot of work to do. Let's get in there. Come on. Oh, it was Andrew Conway, sorry. I've forgotten who it was. Oh, you know what, guys? We're going to take it. We're going to take a 7-0. We'll take a 7-0 win. <laughs> that got real tense at the end there. That was not what I was expecting. Ooh, right. Two from two. That's what we want to be seeing. 7-0. I wonder what rank we'll actually get up to. Uh, oh, I just pushed A. I didn't even read the thing. Uh, which Welsh team has won the most Pro 14s? Believe that to be the Ospreys. But uh, for some reason, my thumb just decided Scarlet's was the way to go. Alrighty, James has been waiting. James has been waiting for Munster versus New Zealand. That will absolutely be the next one. Uh, I, might, I might even shorten down the time of the games. I feel like the games... Uh, I'll switch down to a five-minute game. Uh, should we do a bit of... Uh, is there a random? I don't think there is a random. Let's do a night time. Let's do a night time game. There we go. We'll shorten down the games a little bit. I don't want uh, I don't want to only play like five games. And I will, uh, we'll rack up some. Munster, right. Uh, Munster, Pro 14s. Not the United Rugby Championship. Uh, do, 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 do. Munster, Munster. 
versus... I actually have no idea which one's rated higher. Manchester are rated really highly in this game. Against New Zealand. Let's give it a go. Uh, I mean, none of these stadiums are licensed. I was going to say, let's try and... Uh, <laughs> there we are. It's got a bit of an Irish feel to it. We'll go down there. Right. Let's get this one underway. New Zealand again. I am really looking forward to playing as New Zealand. That will be one of the teams that I will probably want to play as the most. But it's one of the teams I'll probably play the least. Um, just because... Oh, I've, uh, I haven't paid attention to the question. Push a random button. <laughs> Johnny Wilkinson. Who knows? <laughs> I didn't even follow my own rule of just push A when you don't know the answer. But yeah, normally in games like this, whether it's been this game or... Uh, rugby 2011 or Rugby 2015. I do like playing as the slightly lower rated teams um, rather than just playing as the big boy, but finally being able to have an actual licensed New Zealand team. Um, I'm really looking forward to see how they get on. Oh, was that going to be too short? No, but we didn't manage to uh, get the ball back right. Let's spread our defence wide again. Look how short everyone is. Oh, wow, they've already got through the gap and we've already missed a tackle. That's not the start we wanted. Oh, OK, let's uh, try and spread wide here. Try and get over to give them some help here. That's a good cover tackle, right? Oh, that should also be a take. Oh, wow, they managed to cover the backfield. Um, I might just assign some of the New Zealand players' actual names <laughs> in terms of doing some commentary. This guy's offside as well. That's outrageous. That's actually a, a, a glitch. I don't think I've ever really experienced in this game to have players just stand completely offside um, whilst uh, whilst the kicker's taking the, uh, the kick there. Oh, wow, he's made a great little run there. No need for that pass. A lot of tackles falling off there. Okay, we've managed to turn it over. There's actually a bit of room up the left-hand side here. No, oh, there wasn't. Oh, is that not out? <laughs> Questionable decision-making from the touch judge there. <clears throat> out to Farrell and to Andrew Conway. Got a long way to run. Manages to make it work. Oh, no! What happened there? Andrew Conway! He's just like... <laughs> what a time to drop the ball. Uh, that is Bowden Barrett, <clears throat> as we're going to pretend he is uh, in that number 10 shirt. What happened here? He broke through one tackle, got past Sevo Reese on that left wing, and then dropped the ball afterwards. That's the is that the first try we've conceded tonight? It might be. It must have been my first try I've conceded for a long time. Alrighty, we've got we've got to work our way up. Maybe I shouldn't have shortened the game time. We're already like 20 minutes into this game. <laughs> oh, all right, let's give this a go. Right, what are we gonna do? Okay. Joe Carberry, right. Okay, maybe going short wasn't the right idea. We seem to be being bumped off a lot of tackles here. Let's kick it deep. And now I'm actually going to switch my uh, my defensive well, pressing just to be brought position. back just a little bit because I think they're beginning to work their way through the lines the a little bit. Away. That's a good tackle. tackle. Let's see if we can get anyone in. in good cover work oh, again. Well Let's hold it down. Yes, uh, oh, nearly managed to perfect. steal it back. Oh, that's a great kick. Oh, that's a superb kick. One thing that the AI tend to do, actually, is is do awful kicks. That's one of the best I've seen for a, for a good while. Let's go to the back. They didn't buy it. We'll go to the front. Let's see if we can go for a little short jump. Who's going to win it? It's me. Connor Murray goes out to Andrew Conway. The ball dropper, apparently. Carberry to Scannell to Farrell. Out to Keith Earls with his <laughs> really dark hair that I didn't know Keith Earls had. Um, <laughs> here we go. A Pick up the ball. Imagine to go. We've got CJ Stander waiting on the wing. Nice to see him back out of his uh, of his retirement from the international stage. Scannell goes straight over the line. Broken through. Really nice to see from the hooker there. That was a good try. Right, we're pulling it back. As, as New Zealand take their hooker off, they've decided no more for... Oh, not Morris. Who? <laughs> Dane Coles? I, I don't know. <laughs> I got to keep remembering to add names in for New Zealand. Joey Carberry taking those two points. Right, seven all. Fisher Price coming on. <laughs> they got some fantastic toy rangers over there. Right, let's see if Haley can make it up through the middle. Going through. Connor Murray. Oh, another great interception. Oh, I mean, they, they definitely didn't need to make any of those passes. They definitely had the, uh, the full line there. Let's see if we can get up on the line a little bit. One of my players running out of the line a bit too quick there as well. I'll try and spread it wide. Bowden Barrett trying to find the room. Oh, that's a good. Oh, that's a great step. I wasn't ready for it. New Zealand are having me. What's going on here? <laughs> that was a great touch. I thought I was. I was getting ready for the interception pass. I ran wide, took my player away. Who was I playing as? Yeah, there's my big boy. I went for the interception. That's a 
a large uh, large man at number four. I think they've accidentally chucked a prop on at number four, eh? In, uh, in the Munster team, right. Bowden Barrett will, of course, take those two. Or Richie Mawanga. Who's people's favourite New Zealand kicker, I wonder? I do like Bowden Barrett. He's got a real sort of spark about him. But Richie Mawanga, in the last 12, 18 months, I've just seen so much from him. He's just really stepping up. And if you're in any other team, Richie Mawunga would absolutely be the first choice fly half. But in New Zealand, there's just so many people competing for it. Connor Murray taking a little grubber kick on here. Good coverage from number 19. No idea who you could say number 19 is for uh, <laughs> for New Zealand. Good tackle in there again. Let's see if we can turn this over. We do. There must be chance there for Keith Earls. Out on the wing. Can he get a little step on the inside? Oh, it's a good cover tackle. We can definitely start to just smash our way through. No. Three defenders to one attacker. Harsh work. CJ Standard and James Ryan gets it away. Over the line goes Farrell. Just taking it turn for turn at the minute. Really good to see Chris Farrell getting over for that try as well now. Again, another big competitor's now going in that 13 shirt in terms of the Irish team now. Um, you know, no need for, uh, for for great competition, but Ireland certainly putting their team together very, very well. I know Aki and Ringrose have really taken that. You don't you don't hear a lot of Chris Farrell anymore. Uh, both uh, can he make his way through a few more times, not managing to smash his way through the gap let's do a little drop ball there Klein not managing to make any room let's do a little pop pass here to Andrew Conway oh we didn't bite for the tackle let's get in there right there's got to be room somewhere let's try and spread it a little bit wider James Ryan out wide to Farrell to Keith Earls who's going to kick it deep downfield they weren't expecting it We've managed to put their full back off a little bit as we see Geordie Barrett run back, There's managing to get the, the follow-up tackle, huge pressure. Connor Murray managing to try and make his way through. Both are again, oh, just can't get that pass away. There must be room out on this wing. Can we get a kick out to the... <laughs> that was the slowest grubber kick ever. I was trying to do like a little bit of a cross-field kick. Not coming. Apparently my uh, my fly half didn't want to be in the position I expected him to be. Good shut down there. We had a good... Couple man overlap there if that had got through. In they go to the rock. They kept possession. Let it slow down a little bit here. They're gonna have to work very hard for Tyburn as he goes over for a try. I'm not sure what happened there. I saw an advantage. I don't know who the advantage was for. That could have been for us, it could have been for New Zealand. I think they gave a Munster advantage for a knock on. No, I don't. I don't know what the advantage was for, but the referee forgot about it instantly. <laughs> Maybe it was an advantage to Munster for something. Maybe it was a forward pass, and we took the most of it. Ty Byrne, who has again, in terms of international rugby, really come into his own in the last two years or so now, going off with the Lions. I thought he played really well with the Lions. I think he's playing so well in that Ireland team. Um, I just, I just think he's been such an impressive player. Um, <laughs> Having come through the Scarlets and as a Wales supporter myself, I would have liked to have seen him uh, <laughs> manage to uh, play for Wales. Would have been great. We could really do with some more lock choices at the minute in Wales. But uh, sadly, <laughs> he decided to go to Ireland and really bolster that team a little bit. Let's try and spread the wall a bit here now. Scannell out to Stander. Couldn't make his way through, but there could be a bit of an overlap. Kill coin. Oh, loose pass to Farrell. Can he get it away to Andrew Conway, who finds himself with some room? Wow, Andrew Conway is slow in this game. Look how... That is outrageous. That's really unfair. Andrew Conway's got a good little bit of burner pace on him. That's not very fair. They go for a little kick over the top. Okay. Haley going through. Let's see if we can cut in the gap oh, here. Get it offloaded to Keith Earls. Here we go. The big down. man can't stop him. Oh, he manages to get a good cover tackle. That's why you don't stop running after the ball. They'll kick it out. They've had enough. 21-14 to Munster. Superb. Keeping that win streak going. Well done to Munster. That would be actually really nice. It would be really nice to see a game like Munster versus New Zealand in real life. See some club level teams versus some international teams. Uh, which player holds the record number of points scored in the Pro 14? Uh, I actually have no idea. Was was Dan Parks ever technically in the Pro 14? Was he not still in Pro 12? Is it classed as the same league? <laughs> I, 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 I mean, considering that uh, Rugby 20 themselves and Rugby 22 have called out that this is now new... Uh, new games, new tournaments. You know, you think they would uh, maybe have the questions relying on them. 
Um, I wonder why that one's got a star next to it. I've never noticed that. Have I selected uh, them as a favourite? Oh, I have. I've never noticed that. That's why that always starts as that team. Uh, right, what should we do next, guys? I'll see if uh, I'll see if anyone wants to drop down in the comments a new game. If not, I will pick a team at random. I'll give you guys sort of 30 seconds to drop down some team ideas. God, I have a little drink. I forgot how much talking is involved in streaming. I really enjoy it, though. I really get into this game. Do, do. Uh, who else do we team? I've got a couple of my teams in there. There's my crate today. We can do something with England. And I'm, England again, not licensed in Rugby 22. It's a bit of a shame. Um, I, I would have liked to have seen um, maybe that license moved over. Seeing as Rugby Challenge 4 just sort of got abandoned by the developers, I would have really liked to have seen Rugby 22, you know, leap on that and just start taking all of the um, all of the licenses and stuff away from them just to have really made that... Um, that game be a, a totally different animal to have had all the licenses and stuff. I think that would have been really fun. Uh, right, we haven't got any team drop down, so we'll pick uh, we'll pick a new team. We don't want to be spending too long on the menus today. Uh, what do we got going on here? Um, what should we do? Let's do some more international. I'm going to play. Who should we? Uh, who's the lowest rated international team? Namibia a 61. Russia a 60. Uh, no one less than 60. I can't imagine anyone's rated lower than Russia. Okay, we'll play as Russia. Um, uh, against... Who should we go against? Uh, do, do, do. The music's quite nice in this game as well, actually. Just general music. Should we do South Africa? Go on. Let's do Russia versus South Africa. A huge game. <laughs> Let's see how we can hold out for this one. I did watch, um... I did watch Russia the other day. Oh, I say the other day. It was about two weeks ago now, I think. Uh, how many players have lifted the World Cup as twice as captain? One, surely? I four? <laughs> Why is that even four? It's <laughs> like eight World Cups being won on the bounce. How would that ever be possible? Um, yeah, no. Who is Russia playing? I can't even remember who I saw them play. It was it was a bit of a, a less we'll conventional team. I'm sure it was someone box. like Good evening. Good evening, Nick. like Good Spain evening. or G was it when Germany? Um, it was a bit of a of a less sort of mainstream team in terms of like international rugby. Though, the and you tend to see it like the World Cup. Oh, back. not a ten. <laughs> okay, I need to get very used to this uh, this Russia team very quickly. I think right. Minutes. Let's get these boys in here. Let's set up the scrum. You can dominate the scrum Crouch. and create a psychological advantage for the rest of the game. Bind. Set. Now, one of the only things that I'm probably going to struggle with in terms of this the Russia team is I am not back. going to know who any of the players are. Uh, that is no offence to Russia, just my knowledge on Russian rugby is rather limited. So, <laughs> it's going to be... Uh, I'm going to have to... Oh, no! Already getting through. This might have been outside of our reach. Um, as uh, we see Mapimpi go over for a try. That's who that is in the 11 shirt. <laughs> Licenses allowed. No. It's a shame that South Africa aren't in, uh, in Rugby 20. Oh, that was a terrible kick. That's not what you want to be seeing there. Yantes not getting it over, maybe. I think he's probably got a slightly lesser kicking ratio than... Uh, than Andre Pollard. Um, I would have liked to have seen South Africa, seeing as they got New Zealand. You know, well playing taken. some of the Southern Hemisphere games, South Africa that versus New Zealand like will surely be a game a lot of people want to play on Rugby 22. And but it, they've, uh, they haven't managed to get it. They've only got the All Blacks and the Wallabies, which is a bit of a shame. Would have been nice to have First seen. Right, come on. Let's see how Russia get on with their... <laughs> with their lineout. It's a decent lineout. Okay. Ustrushko. I'm sorry if I'm going to butcher some Russian names now, guys. Be ready for some terrible... De Davidov, Davidov making his way down the wing as we Russia see him pick up from the scrum half. Let's spread it a little bit wider. They're very tight together. Ooh, the scrum half not managing to make his way through. Oh, South Africa very bunched up. Could have something going on on this left wing here if we can get the ball out. Ooh, it's a great interception though. Look at that. Right, let's see if we can get men in here. Good take. And keep going left. I thought I had one more player left over. Goloniski. Got a hard bit of room to go there. Oh, that's a good handoff from Doro Feeve. Still going through. Let's see if we can uh, spread it right now. There's so much room on that left. Oh, as they take. Dangerous play. Reinald Pistorius. <laughs> that's a great name. I don't know how they come up with the names for the uh, for the non-official teams. Uh, yeah, let's go in the corner. Come on, we've got confidence. They're, they're down a man. Come on, Russia. We believe in ourselves. Let's get this into the corner. 
It's good. It's gone beyond that five meters. Right. There's every chance here for a driving mall so try. To have a throw into a if you cut short. Oh, they didn't buy it. Okay. We're going for the mall. Come on. 15 man mall. Let's get it in here. Come on, Russia. Catch it, catch it, catch it. They've worked hard. Yes. Drive it on. Can they go? Oh, it's. <laughs> Yeah, you try doing that in this game, trying to shut down a mall that quick. That doesn't work. Can we get it one more? Oh, Morozov. Over he goes. Fantastic try from the big man. Just working on the loop around the corner. Right. This to take the lead. This is what Russia need. We've got to have this comeback now. Let's see if we can just dink this over there. We'll take it. 7-5. Yuri Kashnarev taking that by half. There's one thing I actually really enjoy about games like this, especially when licenses are in. Some of the, you know, well, I, I was going to say smaller teams. I don't mean smaller teams, but, you know, the, the Tier 2, Tier 3 nations. Um, if you're a bit of a, uh, you know, you're, you're not like a super hardcore rugby fan, you enjoy the game, you enjoy watching the World Cup, you might enjoy watching the Six Nations or something. Playing a game like this can be really fun to actually play as, like, Japan and Canada and the USA and stuff. Just to help you learn some names and some players and some positions and stuff. Oh, there's a knock on. Um, and it's a real shame to not have seen Rugby 22 announce that they've got a lot of the Tier 2 Nations um, actual like official licenses. I think that would have been really fun for them to have done. Because I really enjoy playing with some of the, the, the lesser rated teams. Because games like this are a little bit easy. Um, this, one, this one in particular is a little bit tough. Russia versus uh, South Africa is a bit of a... Bit of a move. Oh, as he says. Oh, whoa, we're going to lose the scrum. Yes, we are. Hold it together. Oh, my scrum half has just abandoned me. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere there. Okay, let's spread right. Spread right. I need someone to cover him. I'll cover the winger. We'll make it work. Everyone in. Get as many people in as possible. Spread left again. Very, very tight again. This is as wide as this line can spread, apparently. Got another takedown there. Okay. Oh, it's a good take. We'll get this off the field. Russia will be very, very happy going in at 7-5 at half time. There we go. Let's take it into the second half. Can they hold out against South Africa? They get it underway. Straight down to Artemyev. Oh, didn't make a great deal of meters there, not going to lie. Right, let's see if we can pass around the back here. That's a nice little hit the gap there. They've definitely lost wingers now. Let's... Spread it wide as Mpimpi's gone too short. Davidov well, making his way really down the left wing. The Can't get it through. I kind of like the uh, the Russian uh, guard they have set up. Oh, look at that for a run. Kushnarev making superb ground there. They've lost their fullback, which means no one's at home to go towards that 22 line. Can we get it into touch? Oh, it's close. It's not going to get there, but we can maybe shut him down. Oh, superb tackle. Great cover from the winger. Um, there's there's a potential here to go for another uh, another driving mall try. Here we go. Let's try and mess them up here. We'll go long. That's fine. We'll take it. Let's set up for another mall. And South Africa shut it down almost immediately. Okay. Let's uh, let's spread wide a little bit here. Right. Confidence all the way. Out to Kushrev. Little up and under. Someone get under it. Who's going to get there? Oh, couldn't get there. It's fine. We'll take the scrum. They're not going to be able to do anything there. Big pressure. Well done, Russia. Let's see if we can get this to work. Another thing I want to see fixed in uh, in Rugby 22 is the set plays from scrums, which uh, really don't work, which is a shame. You can do a set play from here, like this, and uh, but it is really hard to actually do anything with. <laughs> that is just not what the set play was, but for some reason it doesn't work. Goloniski just taking them on. Let's set up here. We're all a bit bunched. Here we go. Let's get over. Oh, he couldn't get the drop goal away. Took an, an absolute age to make that away. Let's go one on one. Goloniski's hard to take down. He gets a good tackle though. Managing to stop him. Can the scrum half. Kusharev not managing to get through either. I need someone to spread wide. We're going to go. Oh, no, that's not who I wanted it to go to. We're struggling to get it down here. Okay. Let's go for a clever little switch pass here. Oh, they weren't expecting the inside ball. Ostrov out to Valvilin. Can't make it go. It's so close. Get it over the line, Davidov. Yes, he does. Gets it there with only 10 minutes remaining. Can they hold it out? They need the kick to try and seal out this game a little bit. Let's see if we can get the uh, the conversion underway here. We'll aim a little bit more towards that far post. 
Has he got the legs? Yes, he does. Right. We'll go in nine points up, ten minutes left. Big ask for South Africa here to come back from this. Selski gets the ball off to Garasov. Kushnorev. Oh, there's good passing here, working its way down the line. Can the scrum half pick it up? Out to Davidov again, the try scorer. As he works his way down, he'll kick the ball on. I don't think he's going to be faster than Vili Larue. No, he's not. He manages to take the ball in. We'll try and get some more men in there, put some pressure on. They've got three minutes to get all the way back down the field. Here we go. Golanovsky with a great take in the air. Can they get the ball wide to Garisimov? Can he see it out? <laughs> what a try. Unfortunately, Russia's uh, speed in this game just not living up to uh, the hype that we were hoping for. Let's get some big boys in there. No, we can't hold it out. Come on. Go out wide. Oh, there's another huge tackle in there. Referee. Call us back, ref. We'll go over for the try. There was a yellow card in there somewhere. I did see a big high tackle in the background. Very, very big call to let that one slide. I thought there was absolutely potential there, but we'll take it for the 80 minutes. We managed to get over there. 19-5 with a yellow card as well. Oh, they actually got the yellow card for the... For the oh, that's a terrible kick. <laughs> Where's this one going? It got over. Can you believe that? <laughs> the, the Russian fly house kicking is such low power that he was actually able to curl it in. <laughs> Love it. 21-5. Big result for Russia there. Wasn't actually expected. I was expecting that one to be a little bit closer, especially with uh, how early on we conceded a try in that one. Right. Let's uh, go back to the main menus. What games do we want to see, guys? Anyone got any uh, any requested games they want to see? Make sure you drop down in the comments who you want to see play. Um, I'll give you another sort of 20 seconds to decide who we want to see in uh, in this now. I don't really do a lot with my squad anymore. I have so many players now in my squad. This was my created England team, because of course England not licensed back in the day. Um, but just the amount of cards used to build up in this game. Of all the players, I mean, you can, like, there's just thousands. <laughs> there's just thousands of players in this game, which I was glad about. Um, and all the tactics and stuff, I do prefer this menu. For anyone who saw the video that we did talking about um, the new menu system, that we've got a screenshot of the new menu. I think this menu looks so much better than what they've got for Rugby 22. Um, just in terms of the colour scheme is much nicer, the layout's much nicer. Seeing the position of the players on the pitch, in terms of the, um, you know, if you want to switch any of the, um, any of the attack and stuff, much much prefer this one on, um, on Rugby 20. I do hope they uh, they try and change that up a bit for Rugby 22. Uh, right, guys, have we got any teams? Anyone mention any teams? No one mentioning any teams. That's fine. We can make up a game as we see fit. Um, I wonder who the lowest rated team in the game is. Is there anyone below 60? I'm going to just have a quick run through here. And it's not going to be international. I mean, my squads, but that's not really the same thing. Is anyone rated below 60? It doesn't look like it. Um, any of the English leagues? Doesn't look like it. Pro 14s. No, I was going to see who was, uh, who was just generally the lowest. Um, right, what do we fancy doing? Let's do... You know what? I haven't played it as a little while. Let's play as Japan. Uh, Japan can go up against... Uh, who do we fancy Japan going against? Who did Japan play in the autumn? I can't even remember who they, uh, who they went up against. Um, who do we fancy? Who's going to be a fun team? Oh, if I, there you go. That's what we'll do. I'll play as Italy. We'll go against Japan. There we go. I'll, I'll go as the slower, slightly lower rated team. There we go. Let's get in here. I do like Italy. Um, I've done a couple of videos on uh, on Italy on, uh, on Rugby 20 as well. Uh, how many nations have taken part in the 2019 World Cup? <laughs> they didn't even change it to past tense with this game being released. <laughs> how great's that? How many teams are going to be in it? Well, I mean, it happened, you know, five months before this game came out and they still left it as in the future because this game was in development. Love that. I'm really looking forward to Rugby 22, just to find stuff like that. I wonder how many things they'll miss <laughs> that I'll, uh, I'll get to point out. Right into the now, arena. The Tommaso Alan. Uh, yeah, Garby's not in insights. this game. It's a real shame. I would have liked to have seen some little updates uh, just, to, just to just to add in. I feel like there was something, again, the guys over at Eco Software and Nacon, uh, oh, we're going to give him a bit away a penalty there, um, uh, sort of followed this game up for a good, I don't even know what I'd say, like eight months or something. They sort of stayed on top of this game in terms of like patches and, and little changes here and there. Um, 
And I did notice when it got round to the Six Nations that there was definitely a bit of a change in terms of the Six Nations teams. Um, they got switched a little bit and um, and some of the team rosters and stuff for the Six Nations teams. Um, but they didn't seem to improve it like beyond that after the Six Nations was done. Um, I saw a lot of the Wales team change um, and I saw a couple of the Scotland team change. They got rid of players like Greg Laidlaw and stuff um, from being in the starting team. Oh, another outrageous penalty. I'm just giving away penalties here. Have I got my defence spread? Yes, I do. That is one thing. That's one thing I wish you could actually set as a default in this game is your general setup. I do believe it's much better in Rugby 20 to have a wider set attack and defence in this game. Oh, that was a good little loop there. Oh, we found some room. Oh, no. What's going on here? <laughs> let's see if they can cover down the side wing, managing to shut him down. Go on, let's let Callum Braley take it away. Oh, Callum Braley on the drop. It's like Keith Earls again. What's going on here? <laughs> these, these men just can't handle these tackles. Oh, they threw the dummy. They're getting it around. This Japan team working well. This is why I wanted to play as Japan. But apparently they're rated too high in this game. It's gone. Oh, I nearly managed to take that interception. Oh, it's a good cover run there. Can Carlo Kana get across? Good defensive work there again. We'll try and turn that over. There's got to be room on this right wing. Callum Braley. Boot it downfield. Oh, it goes straight into touch. That was a terrible kick. I expect a little bit more here. Yes, we called it correctly. The three-man jump is a really weird thing in, in games like this. I really feel like it limits you. I really wouldn't ever pick the uh, three-man jumper. Bram Stein to Negri to Canone to Kana to Bellini who's somehow marked by two men even though he went man for man I think Japan have got too many men on the field Callum Braley again making these little sniping runs no one at home if they can kick it over the top here we go Tommaso Alan will find that bit of room in the background there um, another mechanic change that I would like to see for Rugby 22 would be um a, a rating not just on kicking but a rating for players in terms of box kicking um, because I feel it's the sort of thing at least when I've played rugby or been involved in any sort of like rugby club at any time the only player that ever trains doing box kicking is a scrum half um, but there, there's a lot of times in games like this where you know you might throw like a centre or something you know like Italy. I, I, it's a bit difficult because it's, it's Italy and they've got a fly half in there as well but like I don't know it would be a good like George North for, for Wales when he was when he moved to centre George North at one point was playing 13 in, in rugby 20 but he would go in at scrum half and do a box kick and it would probably go further than most other people's box kicks but you think although someone has a good kicking percentage they probably shouldn't have a good box kicking percentage it's a very different thing um, and I would maybe like to see players if they took a box kick who isn't a scrum half that the box kick just doesn't go as far and that way it would make you maybe play an extra phase to to get your scrum half back in position rather than just letting anyone box kick as I did earlier on. Oh, Braley, out to Biji, the big man, smashing his way through. No, <laughs> oh, get out of here, William Tupo, just being outrageous offside. How is that not a yellow card? Um... What do we do? I think Italy have got the potential for a driving wall try. I think we've got enough big boys in the uh, in the front there. Let's try and get this just beyond that five metre line. We'll put it right deep in the corner. Put them under some big pressure. So we're about to have a seven man. And we'll do a little Italy. cheeky. Oh, they didn't fall for it. But we're going to go out the so back anyway. Crazy play. Tommaso Alan straight over for the try. No one expected it. Not ready for the ingenuity that Italy bring to this game. On comes Coup for Japan right before half time. Big call there. Look at this. Straight over the back. No one ready. Tommaso Alan on a little spin. Nearly had it intercepted. But got over for the try. Brilliant work. And the conversion by Allen. I love how they also call him Allen in this game. Isn't that outrageous? <laughs> These are professional commentators. Tommaso Allen. Rather than Tommaso Alan. <laughs> they, just, they just didn't even try in the commentary. It's going to be interesting to see what they do for Rugby 22. In terms of the commentary, I've not heard any announcements yet of uh, of which commentators are going to be doing the voiceovers and stuff for this game. Rugby 20, when it was in its beta phase, had some of the worst game commentary I have ever heard in any game ever. Um, I remember, that, I think it was phase two. The phase two of the beta was, was awful. Uh, and it was so fun to play. When, when a game is so bad, it's good. Oh, can Bellini make this here? He's got a good run on him. Doesn't look like we're going to make it. Oh, we decided to take it over the line. Um, 
but uh, yeah, they, the 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 phase two beta had so many issues with it. But the biggest one being the commentary uh, by by an absolute mile was that uh, the the commentary team used to say things like, "And here is Peledri." Carrying the ball. <laughs> it was, there was huge gaps. The names were said in completely different tones to like everything else. Oh look, it's Italy are ahead by 37. <laughs> it's like no one talks like that. It was like being at like a train station. Oh, can he get it wide to Bellini to run it into the corner? Here we go. We'll take that over. That's a good try. It's been hard work getting tries past Japan to be fair. They've been, uh, they've been on it. Let's uh, no set up on this 22. Tommaso Alan can probably set up. Let's see if we can get this under. A lot of Japan flags in the background. We're obviously playing down in Japan. Oh, that's a strong wind hitting the post there. As they kick it up and over. Tommaso Alan picking up the ball. Spreads it wide to Kana. Marisi not managing to get it through. Can spread it wide though. Got to be room for Sato who is... Awfully slow in this game. We'll kick it on. It's not going to make a great deal of, uh, of impact against Matsushima in the background there. Oh, that's a good pickup right there. Is that Nagari managing to pick up the ball? Italy looking very, very flat. This is as wide as Italy can. I mean, that's a good call. That's a... <laughs> I mean, the, the coach will be screaming at him for that one. Japan got the advantage for the knock-on, though. They won't mind. Maybe that was their plan all along. Who knows? We'll uh, we'll take that in Zolochi. Uh, no managing to keep his hands together. I mean, to be fair to him, not necessarily known for his great handling Zolochi, but we'll make the most of it. Uh, is that... We'll have the I don't know who that was. Uh, oh, Yamanaka's on. Well, Yamanaka did well for Japan, to be fair, when we saw him. Um, he played a bit in the um, in the Autumn Nations as well. I don't think... Or Autumn Internationals. So it was only the Autumn Nations in the first year, wasn't it? Oh, no. Big loss there. Um, but Japan are, are, are struggling a bit more than I expected them to. They had such a good World Cup. Um, but just that lack of game time because of undisclosed things that get us demonetized if we say them out loud. Um, they, they, um, they just haven't been able to play. I actually thought they had a good game against the Lions. Um, they, they, they actually did pretty well. I mean, it was probably nice to see because it was the Lions' first game together you know their team hadn't gelled together japan hadn't played for two years they hadn't gelled together again um but that game they had was it against ireland was it ireland japan where they just got absolutely hammered um yeah that, that was a bit of a shame because i especially looking ahead towards the uh oh a little interception there for bellini can we run the length of the field steps back inside bellini Oh, he's got Matsushima chasing him down. Good speed there. Oh, I've gone the wrong way here. I didn't realise he was going to run out to that wing. I'll try and make some room down here. That's a flat ball. We're in a lot of trouble there. Someone needs to get in here. We're going to have that turned over, unfortunately. Oh, wow, and a good little break as well. It's a good tackle. I actually don't know who is the, uh, the fullback in this game. Might be um, Jaden Hayward. Let's see if we can spread it wide. Biji, come on again. Oh, oh, Biji just can't get that handling down. Spread it wide Great. quickly. Bellini running out of stamina. Oh, that's a good grubber kick. This will be a try all day long. Bellini. Take it over the line, Bellini. Has he got a hat trick? Has he scored every try in this game? He's done it. Bellini's been on it. Bellini has been on a good, good game for us there. Running it over. Little gr oh, th I'm through the legs. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. It's uh, Tommaso Alan. I'll take it over now for another cheeky two points. And he adds the two we'll finish it off 19 at 19-0. I mean, it's gone pretty well, guys. To be fair, we've won an awful lot of uh, of games tonight. It's been it's been good. I feel, I feel good. I feel like we're on there. Oh, we've hit level 160 as well. <laughs> we're absolutely cranking out those uh, those ranks at the minute. We've got a standard players pack. I'm not sure if I have any uh, any packs to actually unlock. I, I, I didn't read the question. <laughs> I always just push A. I, I, I've given up now. I've had two years of this game. I've definitely uh, I've definitely seen an awful lot of uh, of those questions over and over and over again. Uh, right, guys. Anyone want to see any particular games? I will leave it up to you guys to drop it down in the chat in case anyone fancies any particular match. Um, I'll open up some boosters while we uh, we wait for anyone to drop down any team names they want to see play. Uh, well, if we've got some challenges. I never really used the challenge in this game. I used to use them originally. 
I just have so many challenges built up now. More challenges. And the final one. Uh, anyone decent in there? Wow, there's a, there's a 46 rated player in there. I've got so much money. I've got like half a million SP points to spend in this game. <laughs> I just got nothing to nothing to buy, no players needed, nothing going on. Uh, right, does anyone drop any teams down? Uh, I'm not seeing any team names drop down there. Not to worry, we can find a different game. Oh wow, we've been streaming for over an hour already. It's crazy. Uh, time flies, time flies when you play in this game. I love it. Um, right, who should we, who do we fancy? Do we fancy international or do we fancy club level? Um, who's playing tonight? I think Car Cardiff Blues are playing tonight, weren't they? Um, I didn't actually see the game. I don't know who they were playing. Let's play Cardiff Blues versus... Um, it will have been one of the French teams. Um, who are they playing? Let's see if I can find out real quick. <laughs> Cardiff Blues. The joy of Google. Very quick. Uh, Cardiff Blues. Oh, it was Harlequins. Oh, I thought they were playing the French teams. Um, let's see if... Uh, there's Gallagher Premier. Uh, Harlequins. Who's high, rated higher? There we go. We'll play Cardiff Blues versus Harlequins. We'll play a game that's actually been on tonight. Um, and uh, hopefully the, the scoreline is different to what happened in real life. I won't spoil it for anyone. <laughs> I'm not telling you which one I was supporting of the two teams. Didn't read the question again. What was the question? <laughs> I, just let it, I just let it go. Every time. I really need to pay more attention to it, to be fair. Do -ba -do -do. I do like the music in this game. I wonder if they'll keep the same music. I wonder if they'll try and make it like a like a running game theme of having the same music between this and, one and, and Rugby 22. Right, Jared Evans, let's get it off and underway. We up we go. Is it going to be just short again? No, it's not, but we didn't manage to actually collect the ball. The, the Harlequin shorts in this game are like luminous green. Oh, I actually got the ball. I wasn't paying attention. We managed to steal that ball. Let's spread it wide. Seb Davis going down. Uh, I have actually spread the attack. I thought I was spreading the, the defence. Halaholo to Ray Lee Lowe as he goes through. Here we go. Big handoff straight through the middle there. Still going. Power legs. Can we get it wide to the lane train on the outside there? Who's stood in touch for some reason? What's he doing? <laughs> what is he doing there? Right. Let's play it back. Ooh, couldn't manage to get it away. Let's see if we can get some, uh, some interceptions in there. Nope. Okay. I'll try and linger around. Passing it wide. Josh Adams got a lot of work to do there. The highest scoring Lions player of all time in a single tour. Which is a mouthful of a uh, of an achievement to say every time I say his name now. Especially when I try and include it in videos. But I feel it's probably just to, uh, to give him that title. As we see Navidi go over for a try. A man we haven't seen in the Wales team for a good while now. Unfortunately. Um, just injury prone for Navidi. Such a good player. But just, <laughs> just one of those guys guys he just struggles so much with injury that you just don't really get to see uh, see as much as you could from him so good in terms of running with the ball in hand but also in jackling circles he's so so good in jackling but uh, just just doesn't get enough time on the, on the pitch just due to injury just puts his body on the line every game same with Tipperick to be fair Tipperick's been out for a little while now for Wales as well um, that, those injuries just carry over like nothing Halaholo back out to Ray Lee Low let's kick the ball deep and on Ray Lee Low's got a bit of speed not going to beat the fullback back. Good tackle there. Um, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have no idea what the uh, what the roster was for Harlequins back in Rugby 20. As we see Halaholo go for an easy try there. Harlequins not uh, not holding their defensive line as we would have wanted to have seen. And uh, it should set up another nice easy uh, two here for Jared Evans. Over we go. Double kick. Alrighty, they'll get us back off and underway. Oh, they've kicked deep. Navidi oh, wow, it's a good kick, actually. The they've put us all the way back. Navidi, Navidi will try and get us a bit of room. Of Let's see if we can go wide Williams, here. Keep the ball going up Lewis. wide. Halaholo Hala to Ray Lilo to Robinson to Owen Lane, who is... Owen Lane again. Owen Lane is so fast. And then in this game, he, he looks like he weighs about 19 stone of pure fat. <laughs> and he lumbers around on the, on the wing. I really hope they uh, get down some of the uh, some of the player models and stats a little bit more for, uh, for Rugby 22. 
Lloyd Williams. Oh, wow. Lloyd Williams hasn't got any speed either. Wow. Cardiff Blues players struggling to gain uh, gain any sort of momentum here when they've actually got the ball in hand. Ball goes up and they will take it in for a maul. How's the Cardiff Blues maul going to set up here? Losing a lot of ground. Notice how different the, uh, the bar is in terms of the maul in comparison to the South Africa game that we played versus Cardiff Blues. Very, very difficult uh, to actually progress. stop a maul in this game. Oh, Lloyd Williams, superb run. Jared Evans gets Desire it wide to Halaholo. Ray Lilo, can he get all the way? The offload, no he can't offload. Quick ball, quick ball, quick ball. They really should be getting Owen Lay, <laughs> can't make it. Let's try and smash it up the middle. Lewis. Dylan Lewis through going through a little bit more room on the inside. Gill, oh, it's bounced Gil. everywhere. Too many players in the way. Really I've just punched someone in the face. Josh Turnbull will be going off no for 10 minutes that. with that. Yeah, that tackle's really there we are, a little high tackle there. I've actually never seen a red card in this game. I've, I've seen players receive red cards for a double yellow, but I've never seen a direct red card. I don't know if they ever even added that mechanic into this game. I have no idea how you would even try and achieve it. There used to be... On Rugby 2011, there was actually an achievement for getting a red card. And I remember spending ages back in the day trying to earn my uh, my achievements for that game. Oh, hands in the ruck. Oh, these compound penalties now, boys. Come on, sort it out. That's, a, uh, that's probably a decent move, to be fair. We've had to chuck uh, our fly half in the scrum. That's not a move I would personally have made, but... Uh, We'll see how much we can hold this out. Alex Dornbrandt coming on at 21. <laughs> Hopefully they've played a 6-2 split and they haven't just chucked uh, Alex Dornbrandt on at, uh, at scrum half. That's uh, moving him here. Okay. We're still a man down. We've got to try and play this line wide. It bounces off someone's face as we take it on the inside. Good little pickup again from Lloyd Williams. Couldn't get the pass away. Oh. It should have come all day long. Josh Adams. Now he's got some gas to burn. Oh, it's a good cover tackle from the uh, fullback there. As Navidi shows a little show and go there as well. We'll keep the pressure on. Lloyd Williams gains an extra metre. Let's keep it going to Gill. Takes it into the line. We pick it up again. Rayleigh low on the crash ball. Not managing to make it through. They've got numbers on that far right. Navidi, can he get it away? No! How did that not get away? They're going to shut it down. Get it over. Robinson to Owen Lane. The, the fat man of Owen Lane for the corner. Why is he so big in this game? Owen Lane is like six foot five or something. And absolutely lean as anything. Look how chunky he is in this game. <laughs> Absolute brutality to Owen Lane on the, in this game in terms of a character model. He'll be hoping for a slightly better character model. Boosh, let's kick that one over. And Jared Evans will take another two. I mean, we've got a yellow card. We've got a couple of players down there. Uh, let's see where 21 came on. Oh, 21 came on at lock. All right. <laughs> I was just making sure he, Alex Dornbrand didn't come on at uh, the scrum half for them. Uh, right, we've got a couple of players down on stamina. I don't tend to do subs in this game. I do occasionally, but normally you can sort of see out these games uh, without needing to do subs. Jared Evans kicks it high, gets it long, a little bit too long for anyone to recover. They kick it deep. We'll cover that pretty well. Halem Amos, not been in the game at all so far. I don't think uh, we haven't really said his name once. Out to Josh Adams, who will show a burn. Of oh, again, another great tackle. Fullback is working incredibly hard for uh, Harlequins at the minute. We'll try and find some room in that backfield. Don't manage to find the grass as he kicks over. Hallam Amos time to run away again. Can't get it away. Owen Lane will do the bobble pass to Josh Turnbull who runs on from the touchline after his yellow card ends mid-game. There's another thing that uh, Rugby 22 want to be looking at fixing. Oh, it's not a great pass. That was a poorly executed pass. Let's see if we can uh, spread it wide here. Oh, it's, it's just not going well. Jared Evans trying to outrun his own man. We just lost another 10 metres running backwards. Josh Turnbull straightens the line and moves them forward again. Owen Robinson goes down. Let's see if we can get out to Josh Adams, who will show a nice little step, making a bit more room. We're just going to hit the line. Navidi. Oh, that's a huge tackle on Navidi again. 
just can't get anywhere through. Davis, Seb Davis out to Halaholo. Ray Lilo offloads to Owen Lane. He'll take the wide outside line. He'll do a little step and everything. Now he's going. Can Lloyd Williams pick <laughs> Lloyd Williams is so slow in this game, I keep forgetting. Let's try and go round. Gill, keep it in play. He's definitely rolled into touch, but the referee is blind apparently and hasn't noticed oh, uh we'll keep it going Excellent. oh i thought i went for the interception hallam amos got to run back good cover play keep josh adams on that left wing hallam amos doesn't need him takes it himself and hits the gas can't make it through on the far side let's try and get some players in there one on one with josh adams always going to be difficult we'll go over for a try in the corner we've still got five minutes left Will we be able to break the 30 point marker in this game? Let's see. Jared Evans set up. Let's get over for another two, hopefully. There we go. I'll take it. Right. Can we get one more in there? We've got the bonus points. Let's see if uh, we can hold it together. Hannah Mamos. Let's go for a nice little up and under to begin with. We've got the wind behind us. He's going to find a good chunk of distance there. We've got some support. No, he's going to kick it. Oh, that's a big call. By oh, Josh Adams has come off his wing. That's not what I wanted. We're relying a lot he here on <laughs> Daisy out on the wing. <laughs> oh, it's a great step. It's another great step. I got to have a little bit of footwork. Okay. I don't think there's anyone on this right wing. Oh, no. Right, they've got shut down a little bit there. Can he get the offload to Dylan Lewis? Still making ground. Come on. We can make it to the final line. Daisy to Halaholo to Ray Lilo. Can he get to the corner? Yes, he can. The powerhouse of a man. Two tries for him in this game. That's a good result for him. Smashing over that line. We break the 30-point marker. It's nice to see. Look at that. A little pass from Halaholo offloads him. Still got the defender to be. A lot of work to be done. Takes the hit and gets over the line. This will be a conversion of and Jared Evans and on a perfect score. I pushed the start button <laughs> by accident. That's uh, going to mess up my kick a little bit. Oh, no. Not a perfect game for Jared Evans, unfortunately. But there we go, guys. That's a club-level game. It's always nice to throw some of them in there, too. Uh, who's awarded... Not oh God, who was awarded the best player two years ago? Well, seeing as Sexton's on the box, you'd hope Sexton. Um, it might be Stockdale, actually. I, I got two years ago. No idea. <laughs> I think it might have been Stockdale. Didn't Stockdale two years ago? Was Stockdale still really playing top of his game two years ago? I don't know. I think if you go like four or five years back, you'd see Stockdale there. Probably up there. Right, guys, we've been doing it for... We've been doing a live stream now for over an hour. Uh, we'll probably play one more um, uh, before I call it an evening. Um, so, uh, last chance for anyone to drop down any teams they want to see play each other. Now is your time. Chuck it in the uh, into the chat and we can add them in. I'll give you guys sort of 20 seconds just to chuck down some team names. I'm going to sip of a drink. Keep my, <laughs> my voice from going over. Wow, that's it. Hell of a red kit, that, isn't it? That's another thing, actually, I would like to see changed in um, in Rugby 22, which I don't think I've actually mentioned, is um, you can play teams in the same coloured kit, which I really wouldn't like. Who else plays in red? Um, which doesn't look that bad in the menu system, but when you're trying to play an actual game and everyone's in a red shirt, it's really hard. Um, this isn't so much an issue when you try and play quick play, but in um, in the, the, the sort of creator league, the my league solo game, um, it's non-optional which kit you're playing in. You create a kit and you play a team in a set kit, um, which can make it really a, a bit difficult to determine who is who, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, right, what should we do? Final game. Uh, I don't think anyone drops any teams down, so we'll we'll chuck it out. Let's end on a uh, let's end on a, an interesting note. Who do we fancy? Uh, France, Georgia, and Italy. We've actually covered quite a few teams tonight. I might go as Namibia. Let's go as Namibia. Namibia versus um, who else is licensed that we haven't played with yet? Uh, we've done Russia, Samoa. I think Samoa actually are licensed in this game. Um, have we done Scotland? Can't remember. Let's, uh, let's do Namibia. Let's do Namibia, Scotland. There we go. I don't think we've done Namibia, uh, Scotland. Anyway. Right there we go. Let's let's check it on final game. Namibia versus Scotland. This for a clean sheet for the evening in terms of... I didn't read the question again. 
<laughs> I need to pay more attention to these questions. I just push a button and just see what happens. I've stopped reading them. I am looking forward to see if they... I actually quite like that as a way of just doing a menu system. When you're waiting for a game to actually have the ability to just push a button and um, and answer questions and stuff. Nice way just to make the loading screen a little bit less boring. I would actually kind of prefer it if they didn't do all this about rugby and what have you. And just did a pure... Um, as like always, it's a trivia based loading menu. I think that would have been a lot of fun. Right, final game of the evening. Lubsen to get us kicked off and underway again. Sort of like the Russian game. Um, my knowledge on the Namibian team, not necessarily the best, so I will uh, be learning names as we go. Uh, we'll spread that wide because the Scotland team in this game is quite a wide defence anyway. Plato, Plato, <laughs> a Greek philosopher is on our wing. That's what we want to be seeing. De La Habe to Newman doesn't manage to get through the line there. We've actually got a little bit of spread here already. We've got like a four-man overlap. If someone can get it wide to Coetzi to Grayling. Oh, he's got a bit of speed on him. Grayling there. Okay, keep in mind Grayling is a good player here. Lubsa to Dilahape. Can't get it through the middle. Keep spreading it wide. Ooh. Plato. Come on. Smashing it through. Good little handoff there. Can't get it to the line. Let's see what set plays they have. I don't even know what set plays they have. Uh, we don't want to do a double loop. That'll never work. Let's go for a little set play here they're not expecting it here we go running the line smashing it through the middle Newman making great ground there through like five tackles surely got to spread wide now there's surely got to be room oh I tried to kick it over to him oh we set up a maul we don't want a maul hold it together come on Namibia there is no one on that right wing we need to uh, try and spread out a little bit here boys come on get in there God, it's hard to slow up and finally, the mall as we go through. Oh, it's a good pick up there from Conadry. Venter. I don't even know what that guy's name was. Plato decides to do a spin because, you know, as all great philosophers need to. <laughs> Just the earth spin on its axis. He's all he's all in there. Kitschoff. He's given up uh, some time playing for South Africa. He's moved to, to Namibia. Lubsa again, still trying to make ground. I cannot believe I can't get this ball out to this wing. Get it out. There we go. You, you and Evie. Can't quite get there. Oh, there's got to be room. D. Stevens, nearly there again. Scotland on the defensive press here has been absolutely superb. They've run away from the line. Lubster. <laughs> Lubster gets it over. That was bizarre. They just sort of ran away from the actual defensive wall there. That was a big call. <laughs> what happened here? Stuart Hogg not leading this team correct. Look at them all running away. Terrified, terrified of the Namibian war that they bring to this game. Right, Dupriz uh, comes on for Hamish Watson 35 minutes into the game. A uh, bit harsh. Hamish Watson certainly more than capable of doing a 80-minute game. That was a terrible kick. And George Horn's on for Ali Price as well. Scotland obviously not happy with that start, wondering why their co-captains have told their players to run away from the try line, probably. Um, Lubser again, he's everywhere. This There's guy's going for the man of the match award. Right, we pick up the ball. D. Stevens to Dilahape, who has got a bit of speed. We'll kick the ball on a little bit. He's actually going to get there first. Let's go for the grubber kick double. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> the broken mechanic in this game. D. Stevens can't make his way through. We can hear the siren, which is interesting. I forgot there was a siren in this game. If anyone remembers the video we did the other day talking about the achievements they've announced for Rugby 22. Um, there's now an achievement for scoring a try after the, uh, the siren sounds. I didn't remember there was a siren in this game. I've obviously uh, overstepped that one a little bit. So... Uh, maybe that wasn't an addition for uh, Rugby 22. Maybe I gave them a little bit too much praise in that video for adding new stuff in. Right, let's go there. It does answer the question of whether there was a half-time siren as well, which apparently there is. Grayling, the speedster, not managing to get away from Gilchrist in the five shirt. Lubster, Dillaharpe finding a gap, but shut down. We all know how good Chris Harris is in that Scotland defensive line as we move in. We'll still spread it wide. Newman to Coetzi. No, can't get it through. Plateau is going to kick it, apparently. That's not at all what we want to do. Let's get it back on the inside. Let's just take it straight to the tackle line here. We just want to go through a couple of phases. Let's do another one. Dillaharpe. We'll just try and shrink down their line a little bit here. Can Newman pass it away? Yes, he can. Coetzi. This is not the man I wanted to have on the ball. I wanted Grayling there. Oh, he's got a lot of work to do here, Grayling. He manages to dodge one. Keeps those couple meters coming. Lubser. 
Oh, no, can't get it. Oh, he got a knock on, though. And the ref misses it. Outrageous from the referee. He was stood right there. Newman gets it out to Plato, who runs down the wing. Oh, that's a good tackle. Who was that? Number four. What should we say? Sam Skinner, probably? I don't know. <laughs> they don't have... I kind of wish they did have names under the defensive player, so that you actually knew who players were. Because, let's be honest, the graphics in this game were never the best. They are certainly better than other games, like Rugby 2015. Um, but they are by no means, you know, you're not looking at your, your high-end FIFA or your Maddens or anything. And it can be a little bit tricky to work out who is who on the other team until you can see their numbers on the uh, on the back ends of their shirts. Um, I would kind of like it to see the defensive players to see um, who the AI is actually controlling. So making a little bit of commentary easier for people like me who uh, do videos on YouTube as they can run it up the back end now with D Stevens not managing to find the room around the back. Javel said, I've not even seen in this game yet. Van Lil makes his way up the touchline here. No, oh, good little run there from the, from the, was he a lock or a flanker? I was going to say flanker, but then I, I think it was number four. They'll try and get some more players in there. A lot of room out on this left wing. We need to try and spread wide. I'm going to spread wide on my own here, apparently. Oh, that's a good touch. Managing to get through there. Oh, no, we've got no one covering. I think it's Sean Maitland on this wing. Oh, we've given away a foul. It's going to be an easy exit for them. We're only 5-0 up. I mean, they've got the length of the field to go. But we are only 5-0 up. There's a long advantage, ref. Do you want to call it there, man? What are you doing? <laughs> He's anti-Namibian. Outrageous. Oh, and again. Get on side. Everyone's fitness is too low now on Namibia. We're struggling. Here come the gaps beginning to open as well. Luckily, Scotland have clammed up a little bit. We just got a... Oh, it's Van Lil! Oh, no, we gave it away. No, we gave away a knock on. Van Lil thought he was going to be able to hold that. I thought there was a try opportunity here. How do you not take that over? Great cover tackle. I can't see what number whoever made that tackle was, but that was, uh, well, not a game-saving tackle, but certainly a uh, an honour-saving tackle to not concede another try. Right at the depth there, Namibia will be happy with that. Right, guys, we've been streaming for like a, an hour and a half or so now, so I will be calling it an evening there. We've had a good little run tonight. Um, I think we've won every game. Yes, we have won every game. We only conceded uh, a couple of tries. Uh, there was a couple of good games in there, actually, where we actually saw New Zealand... Um, Getting over for uh, a couple of tries there. I'm just going to pick a random answer. Didn't even read the question again. Uh, <laughs> but this has been fun, guys. It's been fun just doing a bit of prep work. Getting a bit more used to playing Rugby 20 again. Uh, get some of the controls down. Get that muscle memory go before Christmas. Because, of course, we will be having Rugby 22 come out in the new year in January. Um, which I will be wanting to uh, to pick up. And I'm looking forward to doing some streaming. So that's another reason why this stream was going to be helpful. Just to get me a little bit more used to doing streaming. Talking for long periods of time. And uh, <laughs> playing some games while doing some streaming. Because, of course, guys, if you want to see any of the streaming of Rugby 22, make sure you subscribe to the channel just to keep up to date with those videos when they come out. And if you've enjoyed this one today, make sure you do drop it a like because it does really help out the channel when people like the videos and leave positive comments. And uh, we might do another one of these in the new year before Rugby, 20 come, uh, Rugby 22 comes out. I might do another Rugby 20 stream just in case some people fancy uh, picking some more teams and playing some more games. But I hope you've all enjoyed tonight, guys, and uh, I will hopefully see you for a live stream in the not-too-distant future. I will see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.